Well, I've been working away at the memory book for um, Elizabeth Petrie, Liz Petrie. And I, I tried different sites, but um, I I finally made made the Walgreens site. I got the Walgreens site to to accept all the photos and uh, make a nice book. Um, it's an eleven by fourteen, um, which gives gives a really really uh, nice page. One it's one slide. There's eighty slides. So 80 pages, and it fills up the pages uh, very nicely. Uh, it's hard hardcover. Uh, it's the uh, deluxe lay flat, and the best thing, nicest thing, one of most most wonderful thing of all is that at Walgreens right now all photo products are uh, half off. So this is a hundred and hundred and eighty page book. I'm sorry, $180 book uh, for, for 90 bucks. Yeah. So that's pretty good. And here we go. We've got a nice cover. We've got a nice spine label. Uh, did a little collage here, which looks pretty nice. It's based on the uh, a postcard for the uh, uh, the Remembrance exhibit on Ann Petrie and uh, Miss James at the Old Saybrook Historical Society. So let's take a look. And here we go. We've got uh, the forward. And you see, uh, here's a, here's that uh, that background. And uh, from the three amigos, Gary and, and Marsha and Kirsty, we had a we had a really good time. Uh, several Zoom sessions and uh, sharing our memories about Liz. And this is the obituary. Um, or the obituary, this uh, Vassar College in the background. And in the live uh, version of uh, the slideshow, we embedded links to uh, to web pages and videos and stuff. And then we have got, uh, this is a nice uh, write up on uh, featuring Liz uh, for Women's History Month. And uh, even talks about the three amigos here and uh, how, how we have uh, figured into the the memories. Liz was devoted and passionate about telling her family story, it says. And she was a lifelong learner. This is um, her Liz's uh, ancestor who was in the Spanish-American War. Uh, women can and do make a great impact on, on our community, thanks to women like Liz who are making history and making memories. This is this background is the uh, inside of the James Pharmacy back in the day. So Old Saybrook High School, the couple of views, different views of the pod school. Liz was uh, on the staff of the school newspaper in 19, 1966. Uh, there's our uh, valedictorian, salutatorian, and a nice, nice article that my, my dad found and kept for about 40 years before he sent it to me. This is uh, uh, yeah, Liz's yearbook picture, and in my my yearbook, she uh, she had a she wrote a nice memory about how uh, she never forget our classes together, and especially our um, our um, leaning on each other as the only two seniors in chemistry our senior year. So the rest of the class was juniors because it was a junior chemistry class. Uh, from the skin of our teeth, our senior class play, and then a couple of pictures from uh, our 50th class reunion. Odd schools where the high school was so was really lovely, but uh, really not suited for for New England winters. This is uh, at home inside some memories of of what it was like to visit at uh, Petrie's house. Uh, there's. Liz getting a story uh, sitting on her mom's lap. And uh, it's a memory about uh, about uh, George Petrie cutting up fish that uh, he'd gotten from Sally Peterson Cornell's uh, dad. So, and this is a Roger Epley uh, is, you know, painting of the, uh, 
of the Connecticut River and the, the Baldwin Bridge. Liz talking about her law school experiences. Uh, here's, uh, it talks about how uh, she didn't get along very well, didn't really enjoy being a lawyer, uh, came back to uh, Middletown and, and worked at the Middletown Press and then found the uh, the letters that her grandmother had kept. And the, her, her favorite story was about uh, the uh, Willis, her uh, great uncle who uh, shot a, a man in Georgia and then wrote home asking for $35. Uh, so the sheriff would uh, help him escape the lynch mob. And, and whoop, okay. And this letter that's in the background actually references the $35. And so, Oh, this is a uh, this is Hampton Academy became Hampton University and uh, the James, uh, the Lane sisters and uh, and Liz also uh, <coughs> attended this uh, Hampton Academy School for African Americans in Virginia is now a university. Liz went to Vassar, and I found a memory where uh, she uh, oh yeah at home inside she talks about. Her mom had a terrible fear of heights, and her uh, and Anne Petrie visited Liz at Vassar, and uh, Liz was in the theater and up on a fifty foot ladder doing lights, and her mom just kind of froze. So Liz asked the uh, uh, the, the drama uh, technicians to work with her, her mom <laughs> while while she finished the lights and then came down. <laughs> the uh, director of the the theater director uh, had put. And Petrie to work uh, on sewing machines and helping to sew costumes. And a couple of stories about Liz being uh, in, in theater groups. And here's a, a letter about uh, the CIA uh, from SDS members, Students for a Democratic Society, They're kind of a radical group. And uh, Liz signed the, Liz uh, was one of the signers of this letter. And then uh, found some, uh, some legal documents. Uh, Liz had posted as uh, Elizabeth Petrie. Gilbert, uh, solicitor, uh, articles of incorporation for a company, and a letter to the editor about the court problems with the courts being understaffed. Okay. Oh, this was the radio show that uh, was uh, a tribute back in, uh, in March, a tribute. Did kind of a little nice little collage here about Anne Petrie and her, uh, her books. Yeah, two million copies of her books were sold. Uh, talking about uh, Ann Petrie being on the school board and uh, making sure that, that Liz was not subjected to, uh, to uh, uh, racist practices. And uh, one, how uh, Ann Petrie uh, nipped a racist thing in the bud uh, by stopping Mrs. White, the, the English teacher, from putting students in blackface for a member of the wedding. Carson McCullers play. Uh, this talks about talking about the beach house that uh, that Liz's grandfather uh, bought. It was one one house away from the town beach, and they bought it because uh, because Anne Petrie had been uh, as a child had been told to, that uh, colored people weren't allowed on the town beach. So I fixed the, the, their little wagons, and then uh, they sold it. The, they sold the house to help. Uh, Anna and Liz pay for college. I think that's pretty cool. And then we get into James Pharmacy and lots of fun things. We get into stories about Harlem, uh, more James Pharmacy. Let's see here. Oh, the Hartford Current. Oh, this was a story in 2010 that Liz and, and uh, Ashley James were in, looking for the ancestors, uh, the gravestones of their great great grandparents, which they found in the in the cemetery was pretty well overgrown. And when they came back uh, the next spring, uh, the gravestones that they had found had been removed, which is kind of a tragic thing. Here's a, a uh, review of uh, Liz's books, and they, it talks about uh, how these were um, uh, Liz's uh, two books about her mom uh, were delightful if somewhat wistful. Uh, these, these are all. This has all been pulled from, from, the, from books, from, uh, from the yearbook, from the conversations that, that her friends have had, from uh, memories that that were uh, posted. 
and then packaged it up into a nice book. We've got already gotten to page 50 of our of our book. Uh, here's we, we, we posted uh, Catherine Hepburn because uh, Miss James uh, was a good friend to, to the young Catherine Hepburn and uh, gave her money for the bus fare when her family wouldn't help her go to New York. Uh, <laughs> Catherine Hepburn got, got bus fare from from Miss James. I think that's that's a, that's kind of a cool story. Uh, and then uh, Liz's work with the uh, 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 with the uh, uh, veterans writers group and with, with uh, her, her work with Christy Billings at the Middletown Library, the Russell Library in Middletown, and lots of lots of stories and photos uh, about uh, the, the all the fun that she had. Some of uh, Liz's speaking engagements, and, uh, and then we end up in the in the slideshow. We've got. Uh, uh, links to several um, multimedia uh, uh, memories, some on YouTube, some on, from from Google, some on Facebook. But uh, some of them are an hour long. So the that, the tribute that was done on the uh, ICRV, on the Iowa Connecticut River Valley, uh, that was that's an hour production, and I I put in some uh, some of the slides from from this uh, slideshow. Oh, we're getting okay. Uh, lots and lots about you know, all all the uh, presentations that uh, Liz did on the, the veterans writers group. It got lots of attention. Uh, Christy Billings even came out to Iowa and uh, and, and gave a talk to the uh, uh, Iowa Library Association. So lots of work. Oh, this is this is a just a. Oh, let's, let's see if we can go back here a second. Yeah, there we go. Just a, a really lovely uh, poem here written by one of the uh, the writers group people. The uh, members of the writers group every time you rise to see another brand new day, a myriad of challenges comes to stand in your way. Just push them back and then take them one by one. This is a photo of uh, at the town beach in Old Saybrook. Oh, some, some nice photo memories of Bertha Lane and, and Anna, uh, Anne Petrie. There's uh, Peter Lane, uh, Liz's grandfather. And then a beautiful, beautiful memory from uh, Marcia, Marcia uh, Ketchum Baird and Liz. This was at the funeral for uh, Marcia's, um, Marcia's partner, Susan. And after the funeral, Liz called Marsha every day uh, to provide comfort. Just a beautiful, beautiful story. And a beautiful tribute about uh, from childhood. Marsha and Liz were best friends and uh, they loved to uh, they loved to go for bike rides. Uh, and they're, they're, the bike ride that they took was down Boston Post Road past the firehouse across the, uh, the playing fields. And uh, uh, then they went off to college, but they kept kept in touch all those years. And then the lovely, lovely story about their their friendship and that uh, that talked every day up until February twenty third, when when Liz was no longer able to to speak with people. Very sad. And from Ted Levy, we got, we got some nice pictures of uh, uh, this is the group uh, that planning the um, the video, uh, uh, Anne Petrie and the the James family letters. Liz talking to some old Saybrook students at the Historical Society, and then this is at the. Uh, the Kate and it's, uh, Liz and a panel talking to a really large crowd of people. Uh, a public forum about the uh, about the uh, documentary that was held back in October. My goodness, no one knew. No one knew that Liz had cancer up, up until just a, just a few weeks before before she died. 
So, okay, well, that's that's my book, our book. Okay, thanks for watching.